The James Webb Telescope is by far the most powerful space observation instrument ever created, and it has recently revealed numerous astounding results that may require us to rewrite every single book that discusses our understanding of the universe. The telescope was launched into space in December 2021, and it has since captured amazing photos of the cosmic scheme. Today, we'll discuss the James Webb Telescope's findings and how they have left scientists questioning their knowledge of the universe. Keep watching till the end of this episode to learn more about the topic. The Big Bang Theory is currently the most widely recognized theory for the universe's origin and existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, on the other hand, is meant to examine the universe in the infrared spectrum, which can give insights into the early creation of the universe. Because infrared light has a greater wavelength than visible light, its waves pass through cosmic clouds with greater effectiveness. This means that the likelihood of light colliding with and scattering off densely packed particles is reduced. Finally, Webb's infrared vision can see into realms previous telescopes cannot. While glancing deep into the beginning of the universe, the telescope showed multiple large galaxies that researchers now believe existed just moments after the Big Bang. Scientists argue that these galaxies are significantly larger than anything their models projected for that time period, implying that Webb's discoveries are totally rewriting our understanding of the early cosmos. So, to see if the Big Bang is in any trouble, an emerging group of researchers used Webb to pinpoint galaxies with an even more precise and reliable way of determining distance. The method identifies the spectral lines of identified components emitted by galaxies and employs them to calculate their distance. The researchers discuss Webb's newly discovered galaxies and explain how the light radiated by the galaxies let them determine that they were young galaxies from the beginning of the universe. They are most likely to appear 500 to 700 million years following the Big Bang. Of course, the presence of these early galaxies is not surprising. It is actually the size and development of the galaxies that have left scientists puzzled. Even while it is not the final answer, it cannot be dismissed lightly. Regardless, the overstated claims based on early web data aren't enough to abandon the Big Bang Theory just yet. For decades, understanding how stars develop and die has been a cornerstone of astronomy research. Even with all of the famous images and observations supplied by space observatories such as Hubble, scientists still don't know all that there is to learn about star creation. Previous space telescopes were able to identify enormous objects in space, but astronomers are now able to separate smaller sources thanks to Webb. The telescope, for example, may identify evidence of knots, lines, and threads of gas and dust that are found in region NGC 346, where many stars are being formed. Elements heavier than hydrogen and helium are present in relatively modest amounts in the cluster. As a result, the conditions match those that existed very early in the development of the universe when star formation was at its pinnacle, a time known as the Cosmic Dawn that occurred roughly 3 billion years following the Big Bang. The question is whether or not low metallicity settings have enough dusty material to accrete and form rocky worlds. Webb's observations of the cluster show that they have a lot of promise. Even the tiniest protostars observed in the photograph have dusty disks surrounding them. By extension, this suggests that planet formation was conceivably in the early universe during cosmic dawn. The metallic properties in the small Magellanic Cloud are similar to the universe's greatest phase of star creation. This is quite interesting since it implies that you may potentially be generating planets around the majority of the stars. The enhanced technology of the telescope has allowed astronomers to view exoplanets in even better detail. The most recent discoveries from the telescope, for example, reveal new insights into the atmospheres, chemical compositions, and habitability of those exoplanets. Moreover, the telescope, which is outfitted with a range of high-tech instruments such as NearSpec and MIRI, can capture the light from exoplanets and identify their chemical makeup. Data like colors and wavelength of the components are used by the telescope to point out the available molecules in an exoplanet's atmosphere. The telescope can also detect and calculate the temperatures of exoplanets based on the heat they release. Having this kind of data is especially crucial for scientists to learn more about exoplanet formation and evolution, as well as their potential habitability. A habitable exoplanet is one that is located within the range of the Goldilocks zone. Being in this zone indicates that the exoplanet's surface temperature will possibly be just right for liquid water to exist on its surface, not too hot nor too cold. And because liquid water is essential to life as we know it, discovering an exoplanet containing such a component would be a significant discovery. 
The James Webb Telescope will also aid in the search for indications of life, such as oxygen or other biomarkers. Overall, the sensitivity and precision of the James Webb Telescope will allow us to locate smaller exoplanets and analyze their atmospheres in greater detail than ever before. More importantly, it will aid scientists in narrowing the list of potentially habitable planets and concentrating their quest for extraterrestrial life. Scientists have long believed that dark matter is the universe's binding agent. Even still, humanity is still unsure whether dark matter exists. Hence, it has remained one of our universe's greatest mysteries, yet astronomers are still hunting for explanations. If Webb's discoveries are actually correct, then we may suddenly be able to see the dark matter in our universe. Dark matter was discovered when studying how some galaxies curve the light of galactic microwave origins, which occurred just after the Big Bang. The scientists discovered that dark matter in the most remote parts of space is less complex than would be predicted by mainstream cosmological theory. If the data is validated, it suggests that the entire cosmological model has weaknesses, forcing scientists to revise existing models of dark matter. Dark matter is actually a catch-all name for this unaccounted-for mass. Surprisingly, physicists have no idea what dark matter is. They know that dark matter accounts for around 27% of the universe and expresses itself only through gravitational interactions with the conventional matter on a galactic scale. There have been disagreements over the role of dark matter. It's possible that it works as an undetectable glue that bonds a galaxy group together. It may also function as an optic for distant light, intensifying old objects for our viewing purposes. Although dark matter is still a mystery, it helps scientists understand the very beginning of the universe. The launch of the James Webb Telescope will be remembered in the astronomy world as a watershed moment. For those who are unaware, we are entering a new time where new insights about the cosmos and our place in it will be unveiled. The increased capabilities of the James Webb Telescope will allow scientists to observe previously unknown events and objects in the universe. For example, scientists have been able to see the formation of stars and the growth of their protoplanetary disks thanks to the telescope's high-resolution imaging capabilities. Scientists also predict that the James Webb Telescope will allow them to observe phenomena such as supernovae. Supernovae are the explosive deaths of stars, and examining such an event in depth will allow scientists to observe a deeper understanding of the processes that influence star evolution. Furthermore, supernovae can be used as standard candles to calculate the distance to distant galaxies. This can help us map the universe's large-scale structure while understanding more about its expansion and transformation through time. The James Webb Telescope is also expected to deliver groundbreaking findings in the study of new forms of matter. Astronomers will be able to constrain some of the qualities of unidentified matter by seeing how it behaves around galaxies, which will aid them in determining its composition. Since Vera Rubin discovered the presence of dark matter in the 1970s, scientists have been mystified. Today, with the help of JWST, astronomers can take some enormous steps forward in their understanding of foreign matters. The James Webb Space Telescope is, in every way, a technological marvel. It is the most powerful space telescope ever created by humans, and it is changing the way we look at our cosmos. More importantly, the telescope has demonstrated the importance of keeping an open mind in research. With a greater understanding of the early universe, we may understand more about galaxy formation, which could lead to the discovery of key details that astronomers have been looking for for decades.